Hello, my name is Mentim Kwanza, and welcome back to the Mentim Kwanza YouTube channel. And today I have a very, very special episode. Uh, well, it's a special episode to me because um, I am going to reflect on my journey as a part-time lecturer at a local college. So how the job came about was that I recently resigned from um, from a job in Pretoria, and then I decided to come home, which is in North Spate in Pumalanga, South Africa, for all of you international fans out there. And after that, I found myself in a space where I obviously couldn't work. This was way, way pre-COVID, by the way. And the opportunity came because I was doing workshops the previous year. So that was god's timing you know so i just thought i should share with you guys the journey and what m some of my philosophies are and basically what i've learned you know so the some of the processes that i go through as a lecturer or as a new lecturer is that i do like an introduction system whereas i tell them who i am and what i've done uh, basically, it's just like name dropping <laughs> the work that I've done, and um, so that the students don't don't just like take you for that. <laughs> yeah. So um, I just use that as a basis in which let's let's try and respect each other, you know, in that in that sense, and then um, I go to like a a workshop I go into a workshop you process whereas um, they tell me who they are you know and I think I just use that as a from a human perspective finding out what they are genuinely interested how old they are so that I actually get an understanding of what type of group I am working with so um, yeah that also becomes very interesting because people don't easily open up so this is just for this is just an icebreaker for the initial class that we are going to participate in over the next eight weeks. And then after that, I have uh, objectives, right? And objectives for me become so, so, so important because it just sets a tone of what the students want to achieve. And also personally, as a lecturer, I set out my own objectives from the students, you know, or how I want to facilitate the class. And then the last part is um, <clears throat> the social contract. So right in front of me here, I have what we call the social contract. The social contract is basically a set of rules that we set according to the objectives of the class or the set of rules that we are going to abide by uh, in the format of this classroom. So yeah. And I'm just going to read, this, is, this, this one is from uh, the first semester, from the students from the first, first semester. And um, the first thing that I'm going to read here is help, uh, help each other and be like a family. And this also played a very, very important role in, within the class because we set the tone to be like a family. And this one, this, this, this one day, I think we were like midway in uh, our, our, our session, uh, this lady uh, brought us all um, coffee for the whole class. I was just like, shoot, um, wow, that is so amazing, you know. So these, these, these words actually play a huge part according to the class. And some of the, the, the objectives that I wrote was to justify your process and your creativity. Everyone knows in my class we have to justify your process and your creativity. And also thinking outside the box in the context of obviously um, graphic design because that's what I was teaching graphic design fundamentals and uh, be on time and be creative open-minded and be creative and the last thing I'm going to read here there's actually a lot of things but I'm not going to read all of them uh, which is to help each other in our achieving our goals so this is just like a good way to set the class or the tone of the class way before it gets like super busy uh, it, it, way before it gets like people are now studying into handy their marks and all of those other things. 
So this just sets a good tone for the classroom, I feel. And then um, also, once again, from the um, social contract, this was now the second semester. The students from the second semester literally had a lot to say, you know. And I just hope that <laughs> they also achieve their goals. And uh, some of the social contracts were um, uh, respect, uh, listen to one another, um, come in empty. Coming in empty plays such, such an important role, especially for me as a facilitator, because um, in as much as I know a lot of things about design, I have to come in empty in the sense that I have to check my ego at the door. If I don't know anything, I can be humble enough to say to the student, look, I don't know what this is all about. Can I just try and find out for you? And also, there are students who come with a solid basis of what design is, you know. So we don't want to overshadow each other in, in that way. So coming in empty is just a, a requirement for us to be human and not outdo each other, you know. So, yeah, that plays a, a very, very important part. And then um, there, was, there was this one that I liked from a student, um, which was, for me, is, is so important, especially in the context of design, which is to use the combination of words, art, pictures, and objects to communicate. And I think that's what graphic design is. It's a tool for us to, in which we can communicate through visual images. And I was telling the students that um, for me as a graphic designer, I feel like you are an image architect. And everyone was just like, ooh, image architect. I'm like, look, you are basically telling me how you want me to perceive a certain visual by using words, art, pictures in order to communicate a particular message. So, yeah, I find, I, I, I find this journey quite uh, important for me right now as a person who is growing into the creative space and um, it has actually un helped me unlock a lot of my personal ideas and, 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 and my personal pursuits, you know. I, I personally would, um, would like to do more of these, you know, because um, I, I think right now I have the ability to teach creativity. And some, someone out there might be saying that is literally impossible. Uh, but I tell them, come to one of my classes, I might change your perspective. You know, so I just hope that it, 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 it added a lot of value, more especially to the students uh, that I've been teaching. And I'm just hoping to grow, uh, in espe especially in this, in this teaching space, you know. Um, it is not my, my ability or it is not my charm or it is not the things that I've learned over the past um, two or five years. It's truly by the grace of God that I've been able to teach people who did not seem like they understood graphic design, but right now they have the confidence in which they can go out there into the world and learn what, um, 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 and teach what I've taught them. So when um, one person teaches, two people learn. So what also what that means is that when I teach, um, the person is learning, and then by the questions in which they ask, I also get an opportunity to learn. So. Yeah, I find this journey very, very important right now, you know, especially in the time of COVID where people are just like lacking, and especially in mindset. And I do a little bit of mindset uh, or creative confidence in, in the classes as well. So I'm just truly, truly grateful for the opportunity that I've been given uh, to teach. And to cement um, um, or, or to close off this um video i'm going to read a letter from uh the principal slash dean of the college and this is basically a message that he sent me uh recently just after the two semesters i've done it reads dear menzi i hope you are doing well and having a great week so far i had the pleasure of seeing your student evaluations this morning they are excellent the students really liked your lectures you are talented, intelligent, and a creative person. And we are very proud that you are part of the name of the college. <laughs> keep, your, keep yourself ready for more lecturing next year. So, yeah, um, I just thought I should share this um, um, letter with you. And, um, 
yeah, I am, I am literally, literally grateful uh, to be a part of um, the team that is here. And I've got, also got a fantastic, fantastic uh, um, employer um, who believes in me, who believed in me uh, when opportunities, when I didn't have an opportunity, you know. So I'd like to thank Rian. Uh, for those of you guys know who Rian is, especially if you're re uh, living in North Bay, uh, thank you, Rian, for the opportunity that you have given me, and I appreciate it so much. So that was my uh, lecture journey. Uh, if you have any more questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the next video, because uh, I'm hoping to do uh, part two with some of your questions. And thank you for listening to or watching this video. <laughs>